Let's just do some breathing there, bro. So can you take a bigger deep breath in now? That's it, and just let it all fall, man. Let it go. Don't control it, just dump it. That's good, man. Good, bro. And let him let it all out. Awesome. G'day guys, Aaron and Maddie here. We're out in the park. We're gonna show you some awesome innovative techniques if you've got some pain in your abs or if you've got pain in your ribs. If you're new to our channel, make sure you like and subscribe. We do body work, barefoot strength training. So if you're a new visitor, you're gonna get awesome content if you do subscribe. So Maddie, what are we doing today, brother? Well, uh, I guess it's my ab slash buckled rib. <laughs> buckled rib, <laughs> which I like to say now. Um, so I did it with uh, rock climbing with an explosive dyno move we can maybe chuck a clip of of it that yeah cool. which not? means sending it in latin doesn't it <laughs> <laughs> yeah um so just that complete like explosive move like that and although i quicked my neck and dust fixed it now it's like that explosive ab side that i that i use a lot so dust gets the credit <laughs> <laughs> so yeah now aaron's gonna help flush this out it seems very particular and i think this is perfect our kind of technique. Yeah, we can show some innovative stuff. So light out, Maddie. actually. We'll um, yep. showcase some stuff. Because a lot of stuff we're going to show in this, um, just move over this way a little bit. A lot of stuff we're going to show in this seminar, I guess, is stuff that you probably don't get taught at schools, at unis, in diplomas. So yeah, you can watch us kind of wing it to see what we can do. So any kind of abdominal work, I love this as a warm-up stroke. So I just kind of wax my fist up. Sounds a bit weird. And I'm just going to go into this kind of um, hip flexor space here, not in the middle line there, just staying to the side. And I'm not going to go too deep to start with. I'm just going to pick up the slack and then just start to take it upwards to just warm up some of this superficial tissue. Now you've got something crazy like six layers of abdominal tissue before you hit organs and then all the hip flexors are under that. So if you are a body worker, you need to kind of set your intention about what you're working into because that will determine what your pressure is. So as I get underneath that 12th rib there, I can really feel like I, um, I can hook under it, which is good because we're starting to get into that fascia that attaches to that 12th rib. And potentially with some cued breathing, you can see Maddie's doing there, we're almost kind of working into that lower diaphragm. So with breathing here, Maddie's breathing really well. What I'd tell people is to breathe in the nose and then to just let the breath go out the mouth. Not fully out, just, just let it fall. In, fully, fully out. out. So yeah, now I'm just going up the, up there, finish the stroke. I actually feel like intuitively I want to go over here too. So when you're going over bones as a body worker, you need to blunten and kind of lighten the pressure, but you don't want to lose connection. Because the important thing is when you're going over bones, you don't want to be jamming up into them. You still want to just be able to kind of see it as a speed hump that you go over gently rather than just flying over something. So in terms of like the full fascial train, it's nice to actually complete strokes. So if I stopped halfway there, it would have been fine, but it's going to feel even better for Maddie here if I just continue this the whole way up. Feels like I've gained like the whole thing cleaned out. The whole thing, yeah. Right in a particular spot, so that's awesome. And just knowing anatomy, you're gonna get up to your kind of second block here, which is the clavicle. But this time we're not gonna go over that. I'm just gonna start moving out to the side. So my knuckles kind of stay under the clavicle there, but I'm just gonna take it all the way over this anterior shoulder here. So it gets quite full on here when you get into that anterior delt and bicep tendon, but still feels really therapeutic, really comprehensive. And I'm just going to intuitively actually do something else here. So I'm going to start directing my pressure down the bicep now. So through anterior delt, and we're going to take it down bicep. Just an awesome way to get a really comprehensive stroke in. <laughs> We're Bob going off on a tangent. About <laughs> good rib to elbow. <laughs> We're gonna show you some upper abdominal treatments here. <laughs> Next minute, fingers. <laughs> Next minute. But yeah, you can see here, we're just gonna take it all the way out. The hand. Oh, oh. 
So for someone like Matty, well. someone like Matty who's a rock climber, ninja warrior, this kind of comprehensive stroke is just absolutely medicine. So there we go. Yeah. Perfect. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a different stroke here, but I'm going to show you my intention for this one. So, oh, how do I breathe again? <laughs> I'm going to go a little bit deeper now. Don't laugh, Matty. So just breathing in the nose and just letting it fall out the mouth, man. But it's really funny because I went all the way down the arm. I can sense that everything just looks different on this whole side now. Like if you come from, yeah, I don't know, it just looks like there's more space between here compared to this side. So, yeah, as a body worker, you're always looking for ways to actually um, be, be more effective. And sometimes it means you need to just finish the stroke along that whole line rather than just think about working on the area. There's that chai latte again. Oh. Chai latte is coming up. Yeah. So what I'm going to do here now is, Leo, you can see how I've got this knuckle and this knuckle in between the 12th rib. Yeah. So I'm picking up that fascia there and I'm just going to take it up now and try and just melt all that tissue that attaches to that 12th rib. So it might be a little bit bonier for Maddie here, but that's no, good. Still good. It's money. Still money. That's awesome. Yes. Might go over that bone again. Don't need much wax here. The sweat's helping us out. <laughs> I was gonna say that. Yeah, it's, it's awesome, man. The sun's out. Yeah, good yeah. outdoor treatments. Yeah, should be a. For the service we do limited time. time only. Well, it is, isn't it, Maddie? Yeah, yeah that's what you're offering. offering. Yeah, if anyone watching this wants to see me, I'm offering this outside. <laughs> Let's both get some vitamin D. Vitamin D, bruh. I'm gonna try something different this time. Oh, I'm gonna the put table's his arm up. burning my skin. Oh, the table's <laughs> burning his skin. Need a towel there. Yeah. Oof. So this time his arm was down before. Perhaps we could do some work where. <laughs> oh, thanks, brothers. We could go down the inside line of that bicep now. So coming in here. Well, if you think about someone's posture who's quite tilted and, mm -hmm. and closing in on the abs there. Yeah, yeah. This whole chain will be pretty- It'd all be closed off. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, man. Yeah, try not to be too burny there for Maddie, but this time just working down the kind of forearm flexes, inside line, golfer's elbow line. Oh yeah. Once again, for Maddie, who does a lot of rock climbing, you know, they've got to have such strong flexes in the forearms. So just getting some nice broad treatment to these just would feel really, really good. And once again, finishing off, going through the hand and out the fingers. Now, here's a word from yeah. our sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Quickly, take a little break and hear about the offer we've got for our next intake of bodywork. If you love this stuff and want to be a bodyworker like us, have a little watch. You can't skip it, sorry. Hey guys. <laughs> Just letting you know that our next intake of our mentorship and bodywork certification program is in February. So spaces are filling up fast. So if you're really interested, the first intake's been incredible. The mentorship aspect has been unbelievable for Ninja and I. Running two webinars a week and having constant interaction with our students has been amazing. The results our students have been getting straight away has been incredible. If you are a body worker and you want to upskill, you want better results, you want to know a really unique, effective way to treat the body, book your interview with Ninja and I and see if you're a perfect candidate because the spots are running out fast. So click the link in our bio, book your interview, and we'll have a chat. <laughs> <laughs> and now, that was pretty cool. Um, that was and, pretty cool. And, oh, yeah, and, this okay. is, and that's the spot. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little bit more specific work. So working into this upper abdominal just underneath the 12th rib. And this seems to be the spot for Maddie. Oh. Seems like I've got it right on there. So oh. yeah. yeah, upper abdominals, you know, Maddie with the move he's doing, hopefully we can cut a bit of image of that, of that of footage of that move in, you know, the strength he needs through these abdominals to keep him on the wall is pretty amazing. So if we can do some work to help decrease some pain and just enhance some performance in that area, then why not? Oh, so I'm slowly going outwards here. Yeah, exactly. Good, Maddie. Yeah, exactly what you're doing on the bone to muscle attachment. Feels like what you need, bro. Yeah. Oh. Should I do the breathing technique again? Yeah, so with the breathing, you always want to be just in the nose and just let it fall out the mouth, man. Good, bro. 
and let it fall out the mouth, man. Nice work, bro. As Please. you can see there from this angle, Leo, I'm right Guess up underneath there that. now. <laughs> cleaning that buckled rib. Oh, cleaning out that buckled rib. <laughs> and that's really cool. Pull out there. So I'm going to do another one in here. Just go a little bit more into that upper abdominal. And just slowly trace it out. So if you're watching at home, 100% the mirror neurons would be firing. You'd be just imagining what this treatment would feel like. You could almost just feel it in your own body, what that sensation would be like. Bit in there, Maddie. Yeah, it's really good. So, oh, crikey. Plenty of tension there. And I feel like I'm right in there now. Almost my thumb from that angle would be disappeared. Spot on. Yeah, it's good stuff. Did you just get pooed on? Did you just get pooed on? Look at that. Yeah. That's good luck. What? Action footage. We've got to get a replay of that. What? Where are you going, bro? What the fuck are they flying rogue? Fucking shitting about. <laughs> All right, give me, give me, give me your abs back here, bros. <laughs> uh, that's it. Sorry. So this is a classic technique here, classic bodywork technique. So just relax the abs a bit more there, Maddie. So I'm softening the skin here, so I can push up under into that upper abdominal and almost into the diaphragm there. So with Maddie, I want him to be just doing some cued breathing now. So in the nose, man. That's it, and just let it fall. Just let it go. Just let it go, let it go. Good, man. In the nose. And let it fall. Nice. Bit in there, man? I feel like we've cleaned it quite a bit. Yeah, after, cool. Um, but it feels like it's still cleaning a little bit that's in there that we haven't got, but it's, mm -hmm. it's pretty nice in there. Pretty clean. Yeah. Yeah, so just, just to show you the technique, this might be the one for your person on your table that you need to do. So we'll still show you this technique because it can be, yeah, really effective. Another one that we can do too that I like to do is um, come from the opposite side of the table and then just get both thumbs. So find the 12th rib, go under, and then just push in oh, holy shit. like that there. So big deep breath in, Maddie. And then when he breathes out, I'm just gonna try and pin him a little bit more and just let it fall there, man. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Good, bro. Big deep breath in again, man. In, 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 in. Good, and then. Good. Nice, brother. So that's another little technique for you there too. Oh, crikey. It's hard because I can't even like say anything. <laughs> it's just like, hey, Scotty's here. Hey, yeah, and he he is. Off. Wow, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> All right, so this is oh. another technique. This is the one I reckon we're going to find some, some gold in mat. So we like to get the fingers into the sternum there. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like we're getting our finger pads in between the ribs, so into the intercostals. And we're just going to connect and we're slowly going to scrape out. It's a great palpation technique to try and determine where the little nuggets are on Matty. So I reckon there's one coming up here, Matt. You might be able to see it flick over gently. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. But I'm going to take it the whole way out so I get a really good understanding. No, it's not too bad. That's okay. Yeah. Actually, maybe let's open it up a little bit. Yeah, that might be good. Oh, yeah, it's like that. Yeah, there's one there too. It feels like the ri the ribs bruised, but it's it's obviously like that uh, that fascial muscle, like that lean muscle that's just. Yeah, if you around. look at a muscle chart, you can see how the abs obviously stop here, but there's this white thing before the pecs. So, yeah. whenever there's anything that's white, we're interested in it because that means it needs to be really taut and strong connective tissue to help us propel. But when everything's a white compared to red, it means they don't have as good a blood flow. So anytime we can treat that, we can actually send a lot of blood to the oh. area, a lot of synovial fluid, a lot of good cells that can try and hydrate the area to yeah, make it perform better. Oh. So there's good stuff here. Oh my lord. Crikey. 
So I reckon we'll do one more, Matty. That's it. Just right in there, man. I reckon that's awesome. Let's just do some breathing there, bro. So can you take a bigger deep breath in now? That's it, and just let it all fall, man. Let it go. Don't control it, just dump it. That's good, man. And then breathe in again, expand in here, man. Good. And then let it all go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One more, man, one more, one more. Big deep breath in, good, bro. And let him let it all out. Awesome. So there you have it guys, there's some pretty intuitive strokes if you've got someone coming in with some abdominal stuff or rib cage stuff and you might not know how to treat it because it's not really shown too much in courses and diplomas, oh. but that's how we would go about it. So we just winged it today. So yeah, if you're a person with pain here, obviously try and book in with one of our practitioners, but if you are a body worker wherever you are in the world, um, just letting you know that you can enroll in our next intake for our mentorship and certification. Uh, program which is in February so in the description we'll put a link to book an interview with Ninja and I to see if you're a right fit but um, we hope you like this and make sure you like and subscribe and uh, see you next week for another episode. Cool, thank you. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> out of it man. Yeah. Oh.